Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna keep these videos really short and brief for now until I can get my data sorted out. I'm so sorry, but currently it's taking me about two days per video to upload. So we're gonna do some short, sweet messages. I got a new Oracle deck. Um, so I wanted to use that for you today. And I've got a couple of requests that I wanna fulfill. So today's question is going to be, um, who's catfishing you and why okay and we're going to start by cleansing and um, set the intention on behalf of our highest and greatest good in perfect comfort and alignment in a place of clarity love and inspiration we ask that whatever messages need to come through for us today do come through for healing and um, just general wellness and this does not want to catch on fire no matter what I do. But there is smoke coming from it, so whew, that will be good enough if you ask me. Okay, I've got my tea here. I have a very bad addiction to mm, hot chocolate <laughs> or mock uh, mockers. And if I'm not drinking that, then I drink soft drink. So I prefer to drink mockers because it's healthier at least than soft drink. But um, I'm trying to lose weight just for the sake of being healthy. I'm all about body positivity, but just for the sake of being healthy. And um, I found this chocolate flavored tea. So it's like a lifesaver. So um, I'd like you to close your eyes, take a moment, meditate. We have for group number one, we have the shell. For group number two, we have, oh. Oh no, we've got some movement there. We've got the amethyst and for group number three, sorry about the shaking, we have the rose quartz. So take a deep breath. Feel free to pause the video and when we're ready we'll start with group number one who chose the shell, okay? I'm gonna put this back up here because that's what was stabilizing the camera. Sorry about that guys. Alright, so group number one who chose the shell. Who is catfishing you and why? So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Who is catfishing you? Group number one collective and why? Group number one collective. The Queen of Pentacles. Group number one collective. Who is catfishing? Group number one. And why please? Five of Wands. Okay. Page of Pentacles. The Empress. The Fool. The Hanged Man in Reverse. The Eight of Swords. Let's move these out of the way. Oopsies. I finally got some selenite towers. Barnaby. I went shopping today because I was trying to get my data sorted out. And of course, I was able to get everything I wanted except for a solution to this problem with my internet. Um, Eight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so straight up, group number one, you're being catfished because they want your money. Because you have money and they know it and they want it. And even if like you're not particularly rich, you have more money than they have. <laughs> So, and that's very evident, like they are, um, they like luxury, they like, they're quite greedy, they like presents, they like to be look after, looked after, and they are struggling for money right now, they've got a lot of conflict in their life because they don't have enough money, so even if you don't have that much money, it's more than what they have, um, but they see you as raising them up to be the empress and giving them a new start in life, and they're very impatient, very impatient, so um, they're, that's why they're using you because they don't have the patience to build up their own wealth. And I feel like um, they might have some people demanding money from them too. They might owe people some money. Mm. So they're trying to get away from them also, trying to get a new start from them. Let's see. So I've got um, the universe has your back. Let's get some guidance from this deck and see what is going to be a good way for you to 
wiggle your way out of this one. So these are really beautiful cards. This is a new one I got today. Look at that. Okay. How can group number one wiggle their way out? Why are they being catfished? How can they find a solution, please? There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth, okay? That's your advice. So, like, what what's authentic to you? Obviously, this person's not authentic to you because they're not, um, they're not um, finding you attractive for who you truly are. They find you attractive for your money. And if you think that that's all you're good for, like you're only attractive because of your money, that's not the case. There is nothing sexier than your authentic truth. And you remember that and you remember your worth and don't let them degrade you. Don't let them make you feel like you're less or that you deserve less. Um, let's take a moonology card for some further advice. You and your loved ones are safe. So um, you just tell this person to bugger off and you'll be safe. Like, they're not going to fight you or try to steal from you or anything like that. Um, yeah, you are safe. Um, but just be wary of them, I suppose. But they're not dangerous. They're just greedy. Which is two um, sides of the same stone, I guess. But it's just about which way you want to flip it. All right, group number one, that's all I have for you. Again, I apologize. I have to keep it short and sweet. But I'm sending you lots of love and um, good luck with this person. Okay, hello, group number two. Chosie Amethyst. Let's see what messages come through. Who is catfishing group number two and why, please? Who is catfishing group number two and why, please? The Seven of Swords straight up deceit okay we know that but why wheel of fortune in reverse three of swords in reverse well actually this is unfixed so it could be either way and justice in reverse hmm who's catfishing group number two and why please five of wands Two of Pentacles unfixed. Five of Wands could could be unfixed too. And Ace of Swords and Nine of Cups. So bear with me, I just dropped about half my deck. Okay, so this person's deceiving you. Um, they're not just catfishing you, they're deceiving you. Well, I guess catfishing is deceit, but like, um, I feel like this is someone from your past. They're pretending to be like really kind and really friendly, but they're not, okay? You hurt them somehow and they want to get you back, okay? They want to find justice for what you did to them, but in the wrong way, okay? It's not good. Because um, it's like you didn't listen to them in the past or something, and now it's like, well... If you won't listen, I'll make you listen kind of thing. Um, and maybe you played them. No judgment here. Like, we've all been there, done that. <laughs> Confession time. Um, yeah, sometimes we don't always know what we want. And, you know, we weigh up our options. And maybe you didn't choose them and it broke their heart. Um, so it's literally like they've picked up the sword and, like, they're like, yeah, well, watch me. Watch me prove to you that you made the wrong choice, okay? So they're probably, like, losing a bunch of weight or getting really fit or um, pretending like they're going on heaps of dates and, like, pretending like they're doing all these awesome things and um, pretending like they're dating someone really rich or something like that, making it look like their life is super awesome to try and attract you back and pretending to be really friendly and like, oh, it's all sweet, it's all fine, like, I totally don't even care, like, that kind of shit. And it's like, really, they care so that they can sabotage your life, okay? That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get in there so that they can sabotage your life. 
So let's take some advice from the Universe Has Your Back Oracle. Can we get some advice, please, for group number two? Woo, hello. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided. Okay? So just trust in the universe. Trust that they're going to have your back, literally, and look after you. Um, and that you might have a lesson to learn from this. Maybe there's a karmic lesson that you need to learn from this still. Um, let's take Moonology. Get a final message from the Moonology cards. Wow, hello. So we have emotions that are running high, clearly, like this person's pissed off. That's why they're catfishing you. Um, and they're about to take action and a fiery climax approaches. Ooh, they want justice for their past, okay? Um, but remember that you are good enough and you don't deserve that kind of crap. And you had every right to kind of explore your options and see what was going to suit you the most. And they do not have the right to punish you for not choosing them, okay? And then we have your hard work is paying off, which came out in reverse. And it's like... Um, It's almost like some of them will want to pay off from you. Like, they'll want some sort of payoff. Like, well, if you can't be with me, then you can at least, like, help me out with money. Or if you can't be with me, then you can at least, like, be my friend or have sex with me on the side or something like that. Like, they want some sort of payoff, some of them. But it's like, no. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, you don't owe them anything, okay? So just remember that group number two, all right? Thank you for watching. I'm going to end that reading there. I'm sorry to keep it short. Um, but I'm sending you lots of love and protection um, and space as well in this time. And um, I hope to see you in the next reading with us. Ciao. Okay, hello, group number three. Let's get into your reading. So who is catfishing group number three and why, please? Who is catfishing group number three and why? So ugh, we have the four of cups. Who is catfishing group number three and why, please? Give me the outsoles. Page of Wands and Knight of Wands. I mean, Knight of... <laughs> Page of Wands and Knight of Pentacles is what I'm trying to say, if I can actually speak clearly. Whoop, hello. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I see what's going on here. What else have we got for group number three? Six of Pentacles and Judgment. All right, so group number three, I don't really think that catfish is the right word. Um, and we have strength. I don't really see catfish as the right word. I feel like this person is a friend of yours who's not telling you that they have feelings for you, who um, you're not noticing in a romantic way. Um, you probably think they're just like, I don't know, not good enough for you, I suppose, or not like emotionally developed enough. Um... And this person's being really patient, like, trying to wait for the right time. And it's, like, every now and then, like, sliding into your DMs or, like, sliding in a compliment to you. Um, and you're, like, I'm cool. I don't need you. You're single. You're happy. Um, you're not really acknowledging them. You're not giving them what they want. Because um, it's like you've got this Ten of Pentacles on your own, you know. Um, but this person sees themselves as like the final piece of the puzzle because you've got the nine of pentacles and they're like, I'll give you the last pentacle, which is the ten of pentacles, which is like union and happiness and like stability and wealth and family and home and all that stuff. And it's like, you're like, no, nah, I'm happy with my little parrot. You know, I don't need you. <laughs> um, and I feel like sometimes you'll give them crumbs. Like you might have like a five minute conversation with them over Instagram or something. Like you'll just be like, you'll be really friendly to them. Like, I'm not saying you're mean to them, but it's like, you won't give them more than that. Like, you won't flirt with them. You'll just be friendly with them. Um, and I feel like this person isn't catfishing you. It's just that they won't leave you alone. Like, they're very annoying. Like, they're very, like, always, like, at your feet, kind of begging you for, for you to pay attention to them. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. Like, um, 
So judgment day is coming for them basically like you either need to get really clear with them that you are not going to be interested in them or you need to show them somehow like through an instagram post or i don't know be clever about it don't be mean about it obviously but i think you need to show them that there's just no chance that that's ever going to happen and with this strength card it's like um it's going to use your strength because you guys are kind people and you don't want to hurt anyone to get it. But it's also like, you know, this person needs to stop. Like, it's like this, like this guy on crutches and you, it's like, he's like, help me, please help me. Like, even though he's got the crutches and like, you're walking without them. But he's like, don't leave me behind in the cold, please. And you're like, dude, like go off and be happy on your own. Okay. <laughs> Basically. So. They're not cash catfishing you. They just won't leave you alone. Um, all right, let's use get some guidance from the universe as your back oracle. Guidance for group number three, please. Thank you. Energy flows where my intention goes. What did I tell you? Ciao. Okay. Energy flows where my intention goes. If you have the intention to be with them one day, put your energy towards them, show them that. If you don't have the en energy or the intention to be with them one day, show them that. Okay. As long as you give them crumbs, all right, you're going to be stuck with them for a little bit longer. So just, yeah. You gotta be a bit harsh to be kind, unfortunately. Let's take some moonology cards as our final message. Hey, hello. You have prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. So, um, I don't know how that relates, to be honest. Let's take another one. Maybe it's just like a good little message for you. Like, hey, by the way, prosperity lies ahead. <laughs> oh, it's like, keep on doing your thing. Because you're like, you're in prosperity already doing your thing. So, yeah, prosperity lies ahead. Like, keep on doing it. And stop wasting energy on this person, yeah? There we go. There we go. All right, group number three, that's all I have for you. I'm sorry to keep it short and sweet. Um, hopefully I'll get my internet sorted out soon and we can spend more time with one another, you know. Um, but if you'd like a private reading with me, my email's in the description box below and I hope to see you in the next reading. Ciao, my loves.